It is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Smuggler in the Blind, episode 23. You know what I said in the last episode, where I was going to try and do one every single day this week? I couldn't be bothered, so... My plan... I say plan, because it's probably not going to happen, is, uh... Monday, which has, got, has already gone, Wednesday, which is gone, today's episode, which is Friday... One on Sunday, so that episode 24 will be on Sunday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 25, 26, 27 of next week. And then we'll be done! And then... Uh, um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm too bloody lazy to do anything. I just want to get this finished. Um, I don't know if that'll even be any packs for the smuggler. What? No! What are you doing? What are you doing? I didn't... No! Stop that! I don't even know if how low and how many packs to open. Yeah. Anyway, um, last time we apparently received a distress signal on a holo terminal. So let's see who it is. Yeah. What's your distress? Talk to me. How refreshing. The whole "I'm honored to serve you, revered master" does get tiresome. Master Sumali, I've been following your career. I hear you have a special interest in the Void Wolf. Is there something I should know? I was hoping you might want to hurt him, and save a life while you're at it. Eh. And here I thought when you joined the temple you were done chasing street scum. Welcome back. We're at war. We all serve how we know best. Alright. Let's pretend I trust you. Why are you calling me? Risha, do you remember Shars Kartur? What did they used to call us? The Triple Threat? Didn't she join the SIS? One of their top agents. When you took out the White Maw's cloaking abilities on Hoth, it drew the Void Wolf's attention. He went there, and Sharis followed. Alone? Is she crazy? The Republic sent an entire platoon of troopers to escort her. The Void Wolf's assassins killed them all. She is alive, but trapped on Hoth. Is there a special guilt power in the Force? The Jedi always make me feel like I'm talking to my mom. <laughs> ah, the sign of a heavy conscience. When I got Sharis' distress call, she had taken refuge in one of the Void Wolf's private vaults. Go quickly if you can. I fear you're Sharis' last hope. I mean, we could go quickly, but I'm going to take my time a little bit. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll go there, but I want to talk to my companions in this episode. Uh, and we, we'll just pretend like we're still going through hyperspace while I'm talking to my companions. So, you know, there's nothing we could do. We just have to... We just have to, yeah, we just have to do it. Just go. Yeah. That's all I can really say. Where am I going anyway? I need to speak to you, Corso. Captain, I... <sighs> no good way to say this without sounding like bragging. Ugh. Got a comm call from Ward Mantell, governor's office. They've been keeping tabs on what we're doing, and... Captain, they're calling me a Republic hero. Ward Mantell's most storied native son. You are a hero, Corso. I'm glad someone's acknowledging it. It's not like they're building a statue or anything. Actually, they're asking for our help. Turns out the Separatists were backed by the Empire. They wanted to destabilize the government. When they were defeated, the Empire attacked outright. Ord drove them off, but they left behind some kind of EMP pulser. First of all, they probably asked for your help. Not ours. Your help. Second of all, will you get rid of that stain on your shirt, please? They want us to lead their campaign of bloody vengeance? Close. They need the disarm codes for the Pulsar. Apparently, the thing is in orbit somewhere. They haven't been able to get a lock on the signal. But it's affected every droid, comlink, and terminal on the planet. Complete economic shutdown. How do we help? Thank you, Captain. <sighs> It'd be nice to give something back to the world that raised me. They're asking us to go to Balmora. Great! The Empire's got disarm codes stored there, but Ord has no troops with the gear or training to go after them. Do it on your own time. Ord man tells nothing to me. I thought you might like a chance to finish what you started. They call you a hero there too, you know. Should be a quick snatch and grab, as far as should takes us. Great! We're going to Balmora and Ord man tell and wherever we're going, yay! Will this black screen disappear? Thank you! Going to Balmora! Yay! I love it there! You! 
fighting at your side brings you peace. That is a strange feeling. You spent a hundred years being miserable, pal. You're overdue for a little serenity. That word is too strong. I am content. For a long time, I fought to repay a debt. Now I fight for a friend. I never believed I would say those words. Thank you. When you when you do that, it just sounds like you're angry at me. Please don't, Gus. Howdy. I guess you've been wondering how someone like me ever ended up with the Jedi, huh? Not really. It's the duty of the Jedi to train anyone force sensitive so they don't fall to the dark side. Boy, you've picked up the party line. <laughs> I was always kind of the odd one out in my family. And believe me, it was not a small family. When they kicked me out, I went to Nar Shadda and met a Jedi who said all the weird stuff that happens to me is a connection to the Force. Why did they kick you out? Don't sell yourself short. You do plenty of weird stuff all on your own. And you know, that was an issue. The Jedi are all about recruiting kids too young to know better. So there it was. Me and all these serene little kids. You've never known real rage until you've been lectured on controlling your emotions by a four-year-old in a robe. <laughs> Would it have been better not to know? Hey, without my old master, I'd still be picking pockets on Nar Shadda. But yeah, sometimes those might have beens get a little bitter, you know. Never even figured out how to work his old lightsaber. I see. Ooh, level 46. We'll come back to you, Gus, in a moment. Because we are just doing... Well, I say in a moment, after we've been to... Where are we going? Uh, Hoth! Yes, uh, but we're going to do a round. Are there things you regret, Captain? It is not an emotion I was raised to feel. We act, and we face the consequences with courage. But it is far easier to discipline my body than my mind. How about you work on your mind and leave the body to me? No, don't do that! I should have been with my clan when the Empire came for them. I'd left to join another clan to follow a lover. At the moment, they were betrayed. I knew nothing. Blah, blah, clan, blah, blah, betrayed. Aren't we past that yet? I will not burden you with my memories again. Oh. Uh -huh. Alright. Bye. I notice we're spending a lot of time together. I'm not complaining, but you know this can't go anywhere, right? Sooner or later, I have to leave your ship. I don't want any hard feelings when I do. Does that make sense? I'd rather regret you for the rest of my life than get scared off by your crazy talk. There's just no reasoning with you. Have it your way. If you want to make something of... whatever it is we have, fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. Yes! The romance is still there for now! How long it'll last? I have no idea. Anyway, I think we've spoken to everybody this round, so let's make our way down to Hot. Oh god, really? Oh, I was trying to see how quickly I can get down there, but there is no quick way. Um, I mean, I guess I could just travel to... Great. I was able to get this episode over and done with quite quickly, but guess not. I want to go see Fantastic Beasts for crying out loud. I'm also going to see Rocky Horror today. I know. I really do hope at some point they increase the mount speed to another rank because 110 percent I mean it's not that fast to be honest I mean you're looking at World of Warcraft you could be from here to there within a second with the speeds they go at now but us no we've just gotta slowly trot along I have a harmonica not very good at that song. Oh wait, no, I need to go down. Oh crap, I need to go down there. How the hell am I? Oh, great. That's where I need to go. How do I get down here? That's just great. Great. Thanks. And of course, if I were to fall down. Um, well, basically, it would take me right back to the start. So, um, what the heck do I do?
No, don't fall in here. Oh, well, we're going down this way anyway. Screw it. It really sucks, you know. To get here, it's a long, 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 long journey. To get back, it's just a quick travel. It's so unfair. One year later, and we're finally bloody here. But before I go in there, what is this? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna just gonna go past you. Yeah. Um. What is this? Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if there's a way to get up. Let's find out. Well, that would be a no. Never mind. All right. Let's find Sharis Kutur's hiding spot. Whilst killing every enemy under the sun. Fantastic. Can you breathe? Yes, I can breathe. Can you blink? How far is this cave? Okay, so I've got to go to the very end. Hopefully by avoiding everything, which isn't going to happen. Well, might as well blow this up in the meantime. I mean, that wasn't going to happen, but hey. Seriously? How the hell did any of you see me? Oh, well, choke. Choke! Although, how was that droid affected by the smoke? That was choking gas. You're a droid. You don't breathe. Right. Ooh, lucky break. Is that for getting 100 uh, kills with Gus? It is indeed. Lovely. What, have I only killed 100 people with you, Gus? Could have sworn I killed more people with you. Ooh, Imperial Supply Crates. Uh, I need to... I promise it's something important. Well, later. Well, to me, anyway. Yeah, later. I need to destroy eight. Uh, there's one down here. But where's the other four? I heal you with Jedi. Right. Ah, there's one there. Yeah, you kill them, Gus. I say the reason why I probably won't do anything between now and Kotet before the Dark vs. Light event finishes. I've been playing a lot of Planet Coaster, so I'm being a bit of a lazy crap right now. So, sorry. Right, now if I knock on this door, will this uh, get rid of the uh, bonus mission? Let's find out. No, nope, let's find out, I said. Knock, knock. Can't you just knock normally? Why have you got a slam? Shh, keep it down. Close the door. I figured this was the last place the Void Wolf's bloodhounds would go digging, but it won't be long. Actually, you know what? Actually, 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 actually. Bye. Bye. You missed me? It's better to have Risha out, isn't it? I think. Shh, keep it down. Risha? I thought that sounded like you. What? Did you finally decide to join us on the straight and narrow? Hardly, but I figured it's just like you to go ground in the enemy's treasury. I figured it was the last place his bloodhounds would go sniffing. Master Sumali called this the Void Wolf's private vault. Mostly cleaned out, but I was hoping I could learn something about his plans. And yes, help yourself. The Void Wolf's been recruiting. He's courting huts, the White Maw, hitmen for hire. Anyone who won't pledge loyalty goes to Hard Vacuum. And he's got enough spies in our space station. And my cover was blown the minute I landed. What do you think? Is there a way you can smuggle me up without any of his people or our people catching wise? I signed on for fighting Imperials. You want me to defend you against the Republic too? That's gonna cost. I was going to hide in there. It's an automated cargo shuttle full of everything here the Void Wolf thought worth keeping. Go to the space station and get security to let us through, and you're welcome to keep everything in it. Ooh. I trust you can come up with a story to explain why you're shipping Imperial droids off Hoth. Great. So we need to rendezvous with Sharis at your ship. Um, yes, so the bonus mission has gone. Okay, where am I going? Going back there. Oh, hello. Who are you? Uh, customs. Stop it right there. I'm going to need your ID, your papers, and a blasted good reason why you're flying in and out of a war zone for kicks. How about I add a bit to your salary, just for looking the other way? Now you're sounding reasonable. Oh. It's a tough job working customs. Almost makes you want to ask a special fine of those who don't show the respect. 
You're free and clear, sir. Long live the Republic. Whatever you said. Neatly done. I'll reimburse you the bribe, of course. I was hoping I wouldn't have to bill you. I can take it from here. I've got my own ship stashed a few hangars down. This one's a keeper, Risha. Thanks for the help. You're welcome to any of the salvage in the shuttle. Some of it might fetch a good price. And I'll make sure you get anything I learn about the Void Wolf. Sweet! We're all done here! Let's go use my holo terminal! Yo! Mission accomplished. Sheriff is safe. I admit, I was wondering what to think of Senator Dodonna's pet project. But you saved a life here, and aided the war. I can say nothing but thank you. I've never shaken hands with a real Jedi before. Are you nearby? Don't even start. Ah. Even if I hadn't renounced worldly pleasures, I know far better than to come between Risha and any man she's eyeing. Oh. Perhaps we'll catch up again sometime, Risha. Not sure my current occupation will bring me anywhere near the Jedi Temple, but maybe. I hope this war ends swiftly enough that I will not have cause to call on you again. Set course for Voss, then, Captain? The permits from Dodana just came through. Voss. Voss. That rings a bell, but... Our next stop, genius. Home of Rogan cyber attack dogs. I took the liberty of looking into the place. Weird planet. Just made contact with the rest of the galaxy after a Sith ship crashed there. Apparently the whole planet's on the leash to some cult of Force users. Empire and Republic are both playing along. This'll be one to wear your best shirt. And remember to say, please. My best shirt. So, the exact thing- Why are you doing that? I'm not pressing anything. Huh. Right, okay. So, apparently, my scroll button, you know, there's a scroll button, and then I can press it down to move my character like that. But when I let go... Huh. Curious. Very curious. That never happened before, and that's kind of annoying that that does now, because now... I don't know. I can't move him like that. I have to move him like that now, which is... A bugger. Right. Let's talk to everybody um, for as much as we can, and then we'll finish up because I've got to edit this video and then I've got to go. Uh, can't speak to you because we've got to do the thing, which we'll do another time. Uh, so we've got Sparnex, who won't sort of tell me about her memories now because I've kind of screwed her over. Um, actually, let's go to Gus first. Whoa! So, have I been looking any more convincing with the lightsaber? Not really. I mean, it's about as much use to me in a fight as a glow-in-the-dark belt buckle. But I figure if I wave it around, maybe it'll scare people off. I haven't noticed anyone running in fear at the sight of you. No. Well, you've got to admit, the people who attack us aren't generally very concerned about, well, living. This was the only lightsaber we had, you know, in the whole Enclave. I wasn't in the Jedi Academy proper. Never made it that far. My master ran a recruitment center on Nar Shaddaa. I don't think he had the guts to actually bring me out in public. Doesn't sound like much of a life. It was a step up from prison. Wow. Alright. Uh, spa, spa, spa. Let's not spa, though. I have a name. Good for you. Who is it? What have you learned? The order Moff Tyrex signed came from Imperial Major Stan Wu. I've heard of him. He is a liaison between the Empire and hired bounty hunters. I will kill him. Off you go. You can't just walk up to an Imperial Major and blast him. Do you have an actual plan? I'll exploit the Major's position and turn it against him. The Major is hiring the best bounty hunters on Nar Shadda. I will go there and present myself as one of them. Once I secure a meeting with Major Stan Wu, all that's left is to pull the trigger. There's another step after that. Get the blazes off Nar Shaddaa before the Empire catches you. This is not my first execution. I always leave myself an exit. If we do not see each other again, Retercia me. Retercia me? I guess? You made it back alive. I assume the Imperial wasn't so lucky. That sniveling worm was no more the architect of my clan's destruction than Moff Tyrek was. 
I left him alive, wallowing in his disgrace. Major Stan Wu ordered the execution because of lies told to him by another Mandalorian, Tayari Rook. The true crime rests with him. Why do I get the feeling you'll have yet another person you want to kill after this Tayari Rook character is dead? The lie stops with Rook. He acted alone. Rook presented Major Stan Wu with evidence that Clan Spa reneged on a contract. My people were hired to destroy transport ships full of young Jedi, but the Empire's target survived. If Clan Spar had accepted that contract, the Jedi would be dead. Rook framed us. You already know what to do. Find this Rook and stick a blaster in his face. Oh. I've already begun my hunt for Teari Rook. I will settle his debt to Clan Spar. Oh, dark side, eh? Oh, Risha, can I speak to you? I can. Hi. Never thought I'd say this, but... You're my favorite partner in crime. Ah. You make beating the odds look easy, Captain. What can I say? I'm inspired by a beautiful woman. Just so we're clear, I had a snappy comeback for that line, but I'm not using it out of respect. Oh. I've definitely learned a few dirty tricks from watching you work. Think I might have found a few of my own. We'll find out at our next death-defying showdown. I can't wait. And I can't wait to speak to you again, so we're gonna do it now. You probably think I'm chasing Debrillian's throne to get rich, don't you? No. You're a much more complicated woman than that. You think I'm complicated. But in a good way, right? Because I am. Complicated. I've seen what bad leadership does to a place. Aldrin, Nar Shadda, even Coruscant. They all suffer because of who's in power. I'm not looking to plunder Debrillian. I want to make it better. Run their society the right way. From everything I've heard about your home world, it could use someone decent in charge. Never thought of myself as decent before. Maybe I can sell that. Every successful leader has the same strength. They're perceived as generous by their subjects. Give the people just enough of what they want, and they'll leave you alone. That's something the King of Dubrillion doesn't understand. For a second, I thought I was seeing a whole new side of you. False alarm. <laughs> I'm just saying what everyone else is thinking. Nothing wrong with that. I can make this work. It's all about negotiation, and I'm good at that. I'm just thinking out loud now. We should get back to business. Think it out loud. Maybe we... Oh, baby. Is it maybe or is it baby? Oh, I don't care. Why am I here, Captain? I don't know. I've been clear about my reason for joining you, but I never understood what you want from me. Fun? Am I a hired gun? Or is there something more? No, there's nothing There's nothing more. It's just, it's just for fun and lols. Why else would I want you around? Why did you assemble this crew? It is too momentous a decision to make on impulse. Do your loyalties truly lie with the Republic? Hell no! When the Empire's cantina starts serving Deuterian Pyrus, maybe I'll reconsider. The Republic worships its own weakness. They waste their warriors defending those who cannot care for themselves. They call for loyalty to a government of strangers instead of a family and clan. You could do better. Good. But I don't wanna. Level 47! Doesn't that mean that I could uh, technically do the, uh, the Rise of Hurt Cartel stuff now if I wanted to? No, that I could do the Ilum stuff. What, what, what level does uh, Rise of Hurt Cartel unlock then? Huh. Gus! I need you to teach me to fight dirty. Oh. You'd think I'd be good at that, you know? But when it gets beyond cowering in doorways, I'm pretty much all point and shoot. Show me how you work your magic. Okay, uh, so you get uh, a tub of mud, you jump in it, uh, you then get out, and then get your gun or lightsaber and start fighting. Because then you'll be fighting dirty. I usually aim below the belt. Oh, I hear that works really well on humans. Yeah. Especially male humans. I mean, females, maybe. Mostly, 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 mostly female, though. I was about to say female, though. Mostly male, though. Spa! Tell me, Captain. How do you choose your path in life? What guides you? My code's simple. Treat everyone how I want them to treat me. That is no code. It is wishful thinking. I adhere to the Re Sonare, the core of what it means to be Mandalorian. 
the sacred law giving us direction and purpose. Education and armor, self-defense, our tribe, our language, our leader, all help us survive. We must educate our children as Mandalorians, obey the commands of Mandalore, speak Mandoa, and defend our clans. Live however you want. Just don't tell me about it. I assumed you were interested. I stand corrected. I have an ass to spar. Unintentionally, of course, because this is what in the blind is, but oh, I'm sorry, spar. Been thinking about our decision to keep things casual. Thought I'd make sure you're still alright with it. Hell no. In case you haven't noticed, I never stop chasing you. We've been running a long time. That takes real stamina. It could be years before I'm on Debrillian's throne. Seems a shame to limit my options in the here and now. You seem to know what I like. Heard of any opportunities I should explore? There's only one, Risha. I'll never settle for second best. I don't think you should either. Yay! Good answer. I look forward to continuing this discussion later. Our conversation's just starting. I've got plenty more to say. We won't run out of things to talk about. Good to know. We can't just stand here staring at each other. We have some exciting caper to pull off, don't we? Ah. Uh, I was going to say, when you say caper, are you, are, you, are you meaning what I think you're meaning? Um, I couldn't tell. Spa again. My travels with you have been worthwhile, Captain. Even I've been an ass to Few you? Few Mandalorians experience Republic space as I have. Fewer still see the Jedi up close without having to kill them. You wouldn't last two seconds against the Jedi I've met. I've fought their kind and lived. Jedi are the most respected warriors in the galaxy. And yet, they have never truly defeated the Mandalorians. No matter how punishing our defeats by them, we always return. One day the Jedi will bow down before us. If you say so. Uh, I guess I'll have to just finish with Spa for today. There is a method to your madness. Is there? When we met, I thought your fighting was driven by impulse, with no strategy or plan. But I began to see a pattern in the chaos. Really? I mean, there is no method in my madness, but okay, whatever you say. No. You were right the first time. <laughs> I've got no idea what I'm doing. I have been studying your moves for some time now. I have thought of incorporating some of your tricks into my own repertoire. It would certainly earn me the edge of surprise should I be among Mandalorians again. Well, basically, just just go for it. Just see what happens. All right, so we're done for the moment with every companion. We've got to travel to Balmora for Corso. Baldar, Gus, Spa, and Risha have nothing else to say to me. We have now properly bloomed a romance between Harlow and Risha. Yay! So we'll leave it at that. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time when we head to Voss. And a farewell to you.